everyone, welcome back. So today I have my February favourites. I will just say I can't see. Um, <laughs> so basically I have quite bad eyesight but my eyes are really stingy at the moment so I'm not wearing contact lenses. So I'd usually now wear my glasses but I just tried that and all you can see is like my two soft boxes in the reflection of the glasses. So I can't really see the viewfinder all that good so hopefully everything's in its place and where it's supposed to be and hopefully you can see me and because I certainly can't. So my skin recently has been so dry and I don't just mean my face, well it has been on my face but I haven't yet come across something that's great for my facial skin just yet. But my hands are just so sore and cracked that I can't they, they just hurt so much when I'm out and about, I've been wearing gloves, I just, I don't know, they're just so sore. So I've been using the E45 Repair and Protect Overnight Hand Cream, and this does it, boost skin cell regeneration overnight, it's for dry, dry skin and it's fragrance free. So I used to get really bad eczema on my legs when I was younger, and I just remember waking up in the night and finding myself just like scratching, and I'd always reach for my E45 and like pump their alarm. So I saw that they did a hand cream, so I thought I'd give that a go, and I absolutely love it. It's quite a quick fix, it's a very nice soothing effect. I haven't, I'm not sure if I notice a long term solution of repairing of the skin but obviously you know it's still the winter weather so my hands are still cracking but it does give me that immediate relief to my hands um, and I do wear that overnight as well as sometimes during the day and tell them because <laughs> um, it, it is for overnight because they say uh, skin cells regenerate more overnight so uh, we're gonna go with that so loving that for the hands now for my sore lips guys i don't know what has been happening with my lips the side here especially has just been so painful and sore so i've been using this overnight again this is the quarterly lip conditioner so i would describe this as a face mask for the lips it's not necessarily this is opposite to the 45 hand cream this isn't necessarily a quick fix soothing immediately thing it's kind of like you wake up having put it on overnight and you're like Oh yeah, my lips feel better. So I just think that's really lovely and it smells so girly and it's really, it's not like a balm or a salve, it's very thick, I don't know why I just put it there. Um, it's quite thick and mask-like, so I really love that and it's definitely a conditioner. So for under my eyes, I've been trialing this new benefit product which is the Puff Off Instant Eye Gel to help smooth the look of puffies and it says Smooth-O-Matic. So this came out, well I got this probably mid-January and I always like to leave, let the hype go down with Benefit because Benefit's a great brand, I love most of the products but I find that their marketing and their PR is like top notch and it's just kind of like ah, very hyped up and I feel like that's going to influence people's opinions on it and you're going to want to love it so you force yourself to love it, that kind of thing. So I've waited until that hype kind of went down, started using this mid-February, so I've only been using this for half of the month. But so far I really love it. I don't know how it works. I don't know if it's the cream itself or because it's in like an iron. Can we see this? So it's quite enjoyable to like iron out those creases, to iron out, you know, the under eye situation. And I've been using this morning and night, I don't really know what the proper etiquette is. Um, but I also think this is going to work really well for more mature skin, but I think it's just a nice preventative and soothing and smoothing product for me now anyway. So that is that. Moving on to hair now. I always love when Tangle Teaser do a collaboration, whether it be I have a Shaun the Sheep one, I've got... what else do I have? I basically have every single Tangle Teaser that's ever come out one way or the other because I'm just like the biggest fan ever because I have all the hair in the world. Um, so dun dun dun! I got this off Feel Unique and this is the Tangle Teaser Times Lulu Guinness edition and I just love it, it's everything. Um, I love Lulu Guinness as it is but you know her it could be quite expensive. So this is standard Tangle Teaser price which I was quite shocked by, I thought it would be like 
quite expensive because it's collaborating with a designer but it's the same price and it's a compact one the lid the lid is here so it just goes on like so and i just love it it's got the lips the classic lulu guinness and stripes and you know i love tangle teasers there's not much else to say give a quick brush because i don't know what's going on i don't see i can't see i don't know if it needs a brush oh my gosh what are you eating come here you little fanny Next up is an eyeshadow thing. So <laughs> Becky and I from Talk Becky Talk, we went into Kaiko for the first time ever. We'd both ne like never been in there. Or is it Kiko? Kaiko, Kiko? Um, so the store in London is just off Oxford Circus. It's just kind of round the corner to Topshop. So we went in and it was quite overwhelming because there was just low, the first bit we looked at was all the single eyeshadows and we were just like, Oh, there's so many and you just want to pick like at least three so you can create you know your the eye look that you want to go for and I was like they're not in palettes I was like I need something um and I saw these and they are called color spheres and I actually got two but this one is the one that I've been reaching for the most and this is in 208 and it's basically a absolutely beautiful like champagne-y shimmery shade look at this pigmentation are you, are you seeing this um, I hope you are because I'm not. And then, <laughs> and then this shade, other shade, is a matte, taupey, pinky shade. Together, they are just perfect. I'm not wearing it today, but I have been reaching for this so much this month. It's just an absolutely gorgeous pigment, and I really want to pick up some more. Though I've noticed that the Kiko um, pigmentation is just incredible. The other eyeshadow situation that I have been grabbing for, which I am wearing today, is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. So I basically, I love Too Faced as it is, but I love how these palettes are foolproof. So I have another one, I've got this in Boudoir Eyes, but that's more of an array of pinky shades. But it's foolproof because we've got like, they're in their sections. This is a day look. This is a fashion look and that, no, day look, classic look, fashion look, that's how they say. So we've got bases, outer half and then crease and I am wearing the day look and I just love it. I just love it. They're so silky and easy to apply and again the pigmentation is amazing. I just think like you can't go wrong with this. If you are new to the whole eyeshadow game then I definitely recommend trying this because it's just set out for you and you are good to go. So that is my eye situations but I also have a mascara which is another product from Benefit and I actually have only got the sample size because I wanted to try that first and I actually got that with my Elle magazine um, so woohoo and I really love it. So this is the Roller Lash. I, it's a super curling and lifting mascara, that it is. I always curl my eyelashes regardless of the mascara that I'm gonna wear anyway, but this just really holds the curl and is very lengthening and you can see each individual lash, which I really love in a mascara. I do also love like the thick spidery look, but I also like the thin, oh look at those individual lashes, so long. So I have been really liking this and the brush is quite curved. So I am definitely gonna be picking up the full size when I see it. <laughs> so for lipstick this month, I have been loving the one that I wear now and it is this. It's one of those L'Oreal liquid lip gloss lipstick things that I never know the name of. Um, but this is in the shade Dancing Rose. So I'm wearing that today, it matches the tulips. It's all great. This is just such a nice color, a nice transitional, autumn to spring shade and it's not too out there. Sometimes when I, when I wear a colour on my lips, because I'm quite used to a pinky nude, I'm always like everyone's looking at my lips, they're too much, they're just there and I need to get out of that so I really have been loving wearing this. Let me know what you do think about this shade on me uh, because obviously you kind of have to look at me if you want to watch my videos. So I have just been really loving this. I love the application of it, it's so easy to do and it doesn't really budge so it's great. So I was super lucky enough to receive a early copy from Flair and she wrote me a lovely message and yes we will go for afternoon tea very soon um, and it was just absolutely lovely and I was so excited when I saw this. It was in like a pink package, it was great and it's just such an inspiring thing when a YouTuber brings out something like this and especially when it's genuinely so good. Now I 
not going to probably execute this very well, but what I mean is, it's you don't have to be in the YouTube world or the blogging world or know, you don't even need to know anything about Fleur to enjoy the book because it's not Fleur, 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 Fleur. It's just, <laughs> it's just kind of like a great girly book that you can just pick up, read a bit, put it down. Great coffee table book. I've actually been reading like just looking at a page a day because otherwise I know I'm just gonna finish it and I just want it to last and it's just, it's just stunning. And I also love the artwork in there. There's a few pictures of Fleur which are all stunning but I love the artwork. It's by Sally Fay. Um, and just look at that. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. And um, there's, it's all about makeup, fashion, hair, health, fitness, body image, relationships. And there's only one teeny section at the end about YouTube. So it's not, it's not about, it, oh, oh, this page. This is so good if you want to start out. She's just set out what she's, like the cameras, the equipment, the lighting, tips, relationships, body. It's just, I just can't definitely recommend this and I think it would make such a lovely gift so I think Fleur should be extremely proud of herself and I know I am and I just it's very inspiring so I am going to wrap this up and conclude my February favourites I hope you enjoyed it do let me know down below what you've been loving this month and if you are tempted to try anything that I have been loving Rupert and I say goodbye bye bye Rupert's like I'm hungry now feed me I need your hair. Thanks so much for watching. Give it a like if you liked it, and I will see you next time. Bye!